Hey guys, welcome back to Trendy Gadget. Today we'll talk about why the new RTX 3080 Super is going to be a scam. Let's head into it. RTX 3080 Super, the Nvidia 3080 Super, like the original Ampere cards before it, has been leaked. Though many consumers are still unable to obtain an RTX 30 series card, Nvidia looks to be planning to introduce a whole new range of graphics cards, chip scarcity be damned. These leaks come from two distinct sources. One is a major corporation, and the other is one of the typical suspects when it comes to anything less serious. Regardless, the Taiwanese firm was bound to introduce introduce a new range of graphics cards, but this might mean catastrophe for many users who are on waiting lists for older cards, since new ones may become available for pre-order very soon. These new cards are expected to be highly inspired by the TI equivalents of ordinary GPUs, thus the RTX 3080 will most likely be comparable to the 3080 Ti, which was a fraud. Also make sure to write your thoughts in the comment section. To all of their one, all of one computers that talked about uh, or showed specifically listed out a 3080 Super. A scam. The 3080 Ti has a virtually identical GPU to the 3090, which is evident in gaming tests. In TechSpot, for example, the 3080 Ti is 4% lower in the worst scenario, in 4K, while the difference is just 1-2% to in other areas. In other words, both GPUs provide the same experience. The difference is that the 3080 Ti sacrifices half of the VRAM of the 3090 in exchange for a lower recommended price, while 12GB is not what you would expect from an enthusiast GPU in 2021. Benchmarks show that it's not a cause for concern for most users, and you can spend $300 less for the same performance. So what is it about the 3080 that you despise so much? As far as I can tell, the GPU's poor reception is attributable to two factors. The 3080 already exists. True, it now has 10GB of VRAM instead of 12, and has an FPS disadvantage of 8% when compared to the 3080 Ti. Nevertheless, this is justified by a suggested price of about half, $699 instead of $1199. The electric electricity deficit remains little, but we get a lot more graph for every dollar or euro invested. In reality, many people anticipated that the 3080 Ti would be released at a more affordable price of $999. However, this does not appear to be a significant justification for the severe criticism leveled against the 2080 Ti's replacement. This happens all the time with all CPUs and GPUs. The value you receive is not proportionate to the money you spend. If you want the best cost-benefit ratio, you can choose low and mid-range items such as the 3060 Ti, 3050 Ti, and 3050. High-end GPUs are significantly more expensive since they cater to a market that is prepared to spend exorbitant prices in order to maximize the visuals and FPS of their favorite video games. Call it consumerism or whatever you want, but it's a market that has always existed but has been so vilified in the past. If you don't believe me, read the valuations of GPUs like the 2080 Ti, 1080 Ti, 980 Ti, 780 Ti, and so on. So if the MSRP isn't the main concern, what is? Many people may have previously imagined it, but I will describe it to you here. Obviously, Nvidia did not introduce a 3080 Ti with the intention of alleviating the supply issue. Rather, I see it as a means to hide the fact that the charts are extremely rare, with prices that are two or three times the basic price. It may even be construed as consumer fraud, as they brag in their conferences that their new RTX 3080 Ti has a price of $1, despite the fact that in the best case scenario, you would find it 199% or 50% over that price. Knowing Nvidia, the prudent thing to do is to believe that they are attempting to obtain as many models as possible, so that when people are considering purchasing purchasing a video card, they only see NVIDIA, NVIDIA, and more NVIDIA. Let's be honest, we don't need a new graph whose power is equal to the difference between the two current graphs that are just 12% different. Similarly, we don't need a 3070 Ti that doesn't add anything to the market. And I think if they were smart, they wouldn't launch it at all this particular family. You've already got your TI variants of all the cards. Conclusion Without a more appealing pricing, greater VRAM, and most importantly, excellent availability, I predict the 3070 Ti to be similarly or even more hammered by the specialized hardware press. Even without the present issue, having an excess of SKUs is terrible for consumers who buy PC components. In my opinion, if a company wants to remain competitive without altering architecture, it should lower the price of its existing products rather than releasing new ones. So since the RTX 3080 Super will probably be similar to the RTX 3080 Ti, it's going to be a scam just like the Ti. Scrapping the Supers for now and for trying to fulfill as many orders as possible for an existing product you can't even supply enough of. What do you think about the RTX 3080 Super? Do you agree that it's going to be a scam? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.